The college football playoff rankings are going to be announced on Tuesday night, the last rankings before we get to Selection Sunday. So we already gave you our own personal rankings about how we think it should look. Now, how do we think it will look when it comes to this upcoming Tuesday? I want to start here at number six. I think Texas is going to be at six by nature of what happened with Ohio State, Michigan, and then moving up a couple spots, or I guess only one spot rather up into six and Ohio State dropping back. The conversation for them, though, I think is very much so there to be at five. Because you look at the common opponent between them and the team at five in Oregon and Texas, they throttle Texas Tech, whereas Oregon won by a little bit of a smaller margin. So I think overall, if they were going to jump Oregon, it would have happened by now because I think that would be a really razor thin margin for the committee to use for them to put them past Oregon. But if I'm Texas, I'm just saying, hey, take care of business, win the Big 12 with one loss, and let's come back on Selection Sunday. And now if you can get an Oregon loss, you feel a lot better about your chances. Heck, if you get a Florida State loss, you feel better about your chances. Texas is very much so in it. I'd be surprised if the committee doesn't put them at number six. Now, before we, before we move on to number five with Oregon, make sure you subscribe right here to the On3 YouTube channel. We're talking college football every single day. We got all our predictions for conference championship weekend coming up on our live show tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern. So that's Tuesday, 11 a.m. Eastern, right here on the Hard Count. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. Want y'all a part of it. We appreciate y'all in advance for that. A team we're going to talk about tomorrow, like we're talking about Texas and Oklahoma State tomorrow. Also talking about Oregon and Washington tomorrow. And Oregon's going to be at five. The, the resume for them is somewhat comparable with Texas. Oregon, if you were to freeze their ranked win, they would have four of those. Texas, they would have three frozen wins. Obviously, their big win being over Alabama. I think with Oregon, the reason why they're going to be at five and move up a spot by nature of the Ohio State loss to Michigan is because of what the committee has told us the entire time they've ranked Oregon within that top six. Hey, we love Oregon based on the eye test. They keep telling us that. Every single week they say, Oregon, best one loss team in the country. Oregon throttling a ranked Oregon State in the fashion they did. I don't see a reason why they won't move up a spot or why they would get jumped by Texas. Uh, I don't think they're ahead of the undefeateds just yet because of that one loss for Oregon to a team like Washington, who I think is in this top four right now. They're going to have their chance, though, this upcoming weekend, this upcoming Friday, rather, in Las Vegas to prove their point, to make their case, and to be in that top four, potentially on Selection Sunday, if they avenge their only loss against Washington. So Oregon at five, probably where you would expect them to be when it comes to these predicted rankings on this upcoming Tuesday. Now at number four, you got Florida State. And a lot of people, when they put Florida State at four, are going to push back and say, well, that no Jordan Travis. Are we sure they're the fourth best team in the country? J.D., Oregon would beat them tomorrow. J.D., Texas would beat them tomorrow. J.D., Washington would probably beat them tomorrow. Well, hey, Washington, they probably rank them ahead of Florida State, so we'll keep that over here. With Florida State, though, it's not so much just about the eye test and this and that. It's about the resume right now. And the resume, the most important thing with that, even if, even if they don't have Jordan Travis in the lineup right now, they got that zero in the loss column. So I think the committee, it would be wildly surprising. It would be unprecedented if they were to put Florida State behind a team with one loss like Oregon or Texas while Florida State is undefeated. I understand you don't have Jordan Travis. I understand that they didn't look tremendous against a team like Florida. But you know what? Found a way to win. And if they keep finding ways to win, they're going to be in the top four when the dust settles. They're not keeping out an undefeated ACC champion. Period. Mic drop. The end. So Florida State, fully expect them to be at four. Now, I think you'll see Washington at three for a similar reason I just said. Undefeated. I don't see a reason why you could drop them based on what happened this past weekend with a big win over Washington State. Yes, it was dramatic. Yes, the margins were thin. It was rivalry weekend. So Washington, I think the most boring, you know, point with them is just what I said undefeated and I don't see a reason why you could put them behind a team like Florida State or a team like Oregon or a team like Texas the differentiator for me with Oregon and Florida State Washington already or Oregon and Florida State Washington Florida State rather Washington was ahead of Florida State last weekend and I don't think either team did anything to be dropped or passed based on what happened this past weekend so again if both teams are undefeated though and win their conference if Washington is an undefeated Pac-12 champion and beats Oregon a second time, they're absolutely in there. I expect them to be at three this weekend, or this week, rather, heading into this weekend. Michigan is at two, and I think they pretty much just removed all doubt. Like Dennis Green in his famous post-game press conference after that Monday night loss to the Bears said, they are who we thought they were. 
Michigan is who we've thought they would be this entire time. We didn't have the proper filter to run it through just yet, so we were going off the eye test and the dominance. You had that Penn State game. You said, oh, okay, they look pretty good, but it's about the Ohio State game, right? That's what it's all about for Michigan. Handle business against Ohio State. I think they'll be the number two team in the country. Now, I think Georgia will still be at number one. The eye test between Georgia and Michigan, I think you could have a conversation about it being somewhat comparable. Now, the resume for Michigan just got boosted a fair amount, so that's probably why they're at two. But I think you go back to resume for why you put Georgia ahead of Michigan. Georgia and the work they did in that stretch from Missouri to Ole Miss to Tennessee. Did they look amazing against Georgia Tech? No, but they were also out multiple starters. So I think the resume is why you keep Georgia at one. But the same thing is true for Michigan as it is for Georgia, as it is for Washington, as it is for Florida State. Heck, as it is for Oregon. If you win out, more than likely, you're going to be in the college football playoff. So Texas, will see what happens with them. Keep an eye on what happens around the country when it comes to the Big 12, or excuse me, when it comes to the Pac-12 and maybe something in the SEC and the ACC, like you're probably looking at some chaos happening there. I don't think it's unlikely for them. I'm just saying keep an eye on that if you're Texas. But when it comes to the top six, how I expect it to look when these rankings drop on Tuesday night, I think you'll see Georgia at one, Michigan at two, Washington at three, Florida State at four, Oregon at five, the eye test being the differentiating factor for them being ahead of Texas, even with that common opponent against Texas Tech. You'll see Texas at six, right within striking distance, handle business, and uh, see where you sit on Selection Sunday. Let me know what you think the rankings will look like when it comes to Tuesday night. Get at me on Twitter. Get at me on Instagram with your college football playoff scenarios. We'll unpack those on our live show on Wednesday. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Subscribe to the channel, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.